look at all the supplies we'll be using for this class. Everything is going to be listed on the supply sheet PDF, but just so you see everything all at once. So I have some PBO paints. These are really, really pretty iridescent paint that are gonna make a nice shimmery um, effect for our Northern Lights. So I've got a blue green, a green yellow, and a violet blue. I've also got some white and silver acrylic paint. This is a little bit thinner than what I'm using for the trees and for the base. For the base, I'm going to be using the Prussian blue golden paint. And for the trees, I'm gonna be using some carbon black golden paint. Now, what I like about the golden paint is it's highly pigmented, so it's really quite thick. Um, so it covers really well, and I don't need to do several coats in order to get it to cover the surface. I'm also using a really large um, flat paintbrush. This one's about four inches. It doesn't necessarily need to be quite this big, but we're gonna be using that to streak up the Northern Lights a little bit. I also have a splatter brush here that we will go through on how to use. I've got a few sizes of stencil brushes. I've got two of these brushes here, but you only really need one. This is for creating your trees, and I do have a video on just creating the trees with the two different brushes, so you can choose what one is um, a better choice for you. This is a fan brush. This one here, I don't actually know what it's called. I've had it for years. Um, but I tend to like this one a little bit for creating the trees, but a lot of videos I've seen online use a fan brush. It just might take a little bit of practice to do it with that. I've got a one inch flat brush that we will be using. A really fine brush here. We're gonna be using that for putting the Santa and the sleigh in the sky. And then a couple of gel pens. I've got a gold one here and I've got a clear stardust one. Um, this one's just a little bit sparkly. We're gonna use some chalk and a just a pencil or a pen, a ballpoint pen or a stylus, just something sharp. Now I've got chalk here. You could use sidewalk chalk. It doesn't necessarily need to be white, but we're gonna be using it on a dark surface. So we wanna make sure that we're able to see it. So that is what we're gonna be using in this course. And of course, you're also gonna need a service to work on. So for my samples, I used an eight by 10 canvas. Um, you could also use a wood panel. It would work exactly the same. I chose a canvas just for something different this time. Um, I chose 8x10 because it's a nice, decent size to work with. It's not too intimidating. You could go smaller if you want, or you could go bigger. The only thing with the bigger is you're just going to have a larger surface, and it might be a little bit more intimidating when you're just for starting to learn a technique. Um, so I found this was a nice, comfortable size just for starting out. The other thing to mention is I have a link to my clip art that I used in the supply list. If you decide to do a different size, you'll need to scale that to whatever size you're using or else choose a different one for yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Let's get painting.